going back we also talked about the topologies which is the logical topology and the physical topology now let's go back to packet tracer and see what it means so the logical topology is kind of a map of the devices how they have been connected but cisco packet tracer also offers you a way to physically configure those configure those devices so let's see now this is uh, the map of uh, our campus and what we have here is a building so if you click on this building it shows you different an office layout so what we have here we have drawn a campus uplink which is basically your computer center where your uh, internet service provider is giving you the internet connection so if we click on that what we see is a rack so this is what a network rack looks like and on those racks you see different devices and these devices are have been represented here through these symbols so it's the same devices represented in a physical form so the cisco packet tracer also offers you a way of being able to visualize your network as it would have been in the physical space now we can go back from the wiring closet go back to the computer center and look at the campus again so that's the difference between a logical and the physical topology logical topology basically shows you how how different devices are connected in a physical topology you also see where they have been placed so those are some of the features that cisco packet tracer offers now as we go ahead during the course we will be showing you different things you could do on cisco packet tracer and using those videos you will be able to explore cisco packet tracer as far as the course is concerned you need not go through the entire introduction to packet tracer's course we will be telling you what all commands that you need to solve the problems or the assignments using the cisco packet tracer and if if you get interested and we would rather encourage that you go ahead and explore what you have learned basically design all the kind of networks you have in mind think about your college network or think about any network and try to imagine how how one would design such a network and that will definitely give you a very rich experience about computer networking go ahead and have a nice time